of peace, love, and joy to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. During these trying times of the COVID-19 pandemic, we, the pastors of the church, Father Xavier and myself, as well as all the other priests who serve here in Saramban, we would like you to know that you are not forgotten and that although we may not be able to gather together in the churches as one big family to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, to have Midnight Mass together and to listen to carols together in the church, let us remember that 
Christmas is still happening and that you are in the hearts of all of us here at Visitation Parish. So dear brothers and sisters, in spite of everything, let us make this Christmas a more special Christmas. Sometimes it's because of difficulties that we can rise to even greater heights. Sometimes it's because of times like this that we have to take the extra step to be able to be present to each other. And thank you, dear Lord, for giving us all the desire to celebrate a most special and blessed Christmas. This year, as we celebrate Christmas, let us take the opportunity to be especially with our families and to be especially with those who are sick and the elderly. Very often, in ordinary times, when we are able to come to church for Mass, the sick and the elderly are left alone at home. This year, let it be very special for them because everyone can celebrate Christmas together at home. They do not need to be left alone whilst we go to church to celebrate and sing our carols. Especially remember those who are bedridden and those who are really nearing their time of expiration, waiting only to see the Lord. Let us make these last moments of their lives a most blessed and happy moment for them. Now, dear brothers and sisters, Christmas is a time when we think of Christmas trees and gifts under the tree, presents for everybody. I would like to tell you a little story of something I learned one Christmas. I went to visit a sick person, and this sick person was lying on his hospital bed. And I was very surprised to see that there was a present on the bed. And I was even more surprised when I was told that that present was for me. I was so touched. I was really so touched that this person who was sick had prepared a present for me. And at the same time, I said sorry to this sick person because I did not bring a present for him. And I said, I have no Christmas present for you. I'm sorry. And the sick person told me, don't be sorry, Father. Don't you know your being here with me is the best Christmas present ever? So from this, dear brothers and sisters, I learned a very important truth about Christmas. The greatest gift that we can give to each other is the gift of our presence. Not anything, but the gift of our persons. And this should not surprise us, because this is the very gift that God has given each one of us this Christmas the gift of a most blessed person, the one whom we call the Prince of Peace, the one whom we believe is the Saviour of the world, the one whom we venerate as the infant Jesus in the crib, the Son of God Most High, given to every one of us as a gift 2,000 years ago, in the little manger, together with the Holy Family. For this gift of Jesus Christ, we can truly rejoice. Whatever the times may be, within the times of pandemic, in ordinary times, in times of persecution, in times of hardship, and in times of prosperity, let us remember that that which we must treasure most is the gift of each other and the gift of Christ in our lives. And finally, dear brothers and sisters, for those who are sad that they may not be able to receive the Most Holy Eucharist this Christmas, 
Let us not forget that Jesus himself said, where two or three are gathered in my name, there I am in your midst. Let us gather together as a family in our own homes and call upon the name of Jesus. And let us worship as a family, the Prince of Peace, and be assured that you will receive Jesus in your heart. My blessings and the blessings of Father Xavier, also the parish priest, be upon all of you as we wish you a most blessed and happy and holy Christmas 2020. Peace be with you.